Good morning, y'all. Uh, how you guys doing today? This is Beth. We get up so early this morning. It's about, we get up at 6.30 because uh, my husband got a doctor's appointment to see his orthopedic doctor. Uh, so we gotta talk to him about his upcoming surgery for his knee replacement. He got this problem maybe about five years or six years ago. He's been having problem with his left knee and then the doctor just gave him some cortisone shots. And you know cortisone shots only last for three months and after that you'll be start hurting again. So since he is uh, 71 years old, the doctor told him that He's a good candidate for knee replacement. So, we will see. We are leaving now in a few minutes. And see his doctors. We'll keep you posted. He's silly right now, but once he will have a surgery, no, I won't be silly. I'll be silly. he will he will realize he'll be crying and be on the floor all the time. He's a big man, but he's a crying baby. You guys, you don't know about him. <laughs> he's been married to this man for twenty eight years, and he had twenty eight years of misery. <laughs> Are you sure that, honey? It's all misery. I'm speaking for you, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're here now in the doctor's office. We have to schedule his uh, left knee replacement. So just pray for us guys that he will stand up after the surgery <laughs> and he can recover quicker. Anyway, we I got to get that knee fixed so I'd be able to kick her behind. <laughs> no, so that he can run with our grandkids if we got one. <laughs> uh, if we ever get one. But anyway, that, that's another six years alone. I'm getting. I would say, hopefully I'm still alive. We're just here waiting for the doctor right now. Like, bye. Hello guys. Uh, how are you guys doing? We're back home now. Well, we come to see the orthopedic doctors for Mike's husband's uh, to schedule his left knee replacement. So he'll be scheduled knee surgery by April because he was given a cortisone shots the month of January. So they have to be up in, I think, 90 days before they can do the surgery. Well, he said he will stay in the hospital for three days. And then after that, he will continue in the house for his uh, recovery and uh, therapy. So we will see. But, you know, before we went home from the doctor's office, we passed by and met our son, and we eat lunch in the Thai restaurant because, excuse me, all of us is craving for Thai food. So, since our son is always busy, he's working all the time, so today he's off. So we decided to meet him and eat some lunch. We have a good time. But anyway, once again, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. We'll keep you posted and updated whatever the result of Mike's uh, surgery. But that won't be scheduled until next month. Papa you!